think it's really important for everybody to know that uh, I was born a sinner. Uh, you're probably thinking to yourself, oh no, a sinner in our church, but it, it's okay. I'm in the right place. Um, so anyway, uh, so uh, I grew up in uh, southwestern New York, uh, pretty pretty normal, got B's and C's in school and stuff. And uh, so when I got to be in the dolls, I uh, uh, moved to the West Coast and uh, started discovering a few things that I didn't know about in school, like drinking and some other things that go along with that. And when I was, uh, I think about 19, yeah, 19, I, I rolled over a car at a little over 100 miles an hour and uh, came out, uh, came out from that, uh, not in too bad a shape, a little bit cut up, but that's about all. But if you would have seen the car, um, you'd know it was pretty amazing that I, uh, that I'm standing here before you today. And you would think, you know, that I would, uh, I would have learned at that time of going, wow, you know, uh, boy, there's a God, and he, uh, you know, he really did something for me here. Maybe I need to change my ways, but no, no, <laughs> no, I continued on. I continued on down that path as a sinner. But I did get, uh, I did, I did, uh, I was baptized and uh, and uh, say I gave my life to Jesus about about 20 years ago. Um, in LA, but what happened was uh, uh, I, I didn't really understand the importance of having a relationship with God. You know, I just went through the motions and became a member of the church, and I even got involved with the church in a few areas here and there. And I went on both Sundays and a couple of Sundays I couldn't make it, and I'm not going to tell you why, you probably figure it out. But anyway, uh, the thing is, I just, I just didn't, uh, I didn't understand, you know. Uh, be, uh, having a relationship with the Lord. I didn't get it whatsoever. So I I, uh, I continued on the, the path of sin. And then when I was about 32, I moved to Las Vegas and became a professional sinner for about 17 years. And uh, I won't go into the details, but it was, you can probably imagine uh, what somebody in Las Vegas uh, is not following uh, the ways of the Lord uh, we might get into it. So, but um, anyway, a uh, series of events led me to uh, Great Falls. I had some friends that were in Vegas that moved up here a few years ago and been trying to get me up here for, for quite a while. And uh, so finally I, I came up and got laid out of a job and I came up and I was here for about six months or so we're going to Boston, Montana, and, and you know, go to the bars and all that kind of thing on the weekends. And it just, something was gnawing at me. I was, I reached a point in my life where I wanted more. I wanted more than just the job and, and some friends, some friends at the bar. And, and uh, it wasn't July, and, you know, everything that goes with it when you go to these, uh, these kind of picnics, you know, hot dogs and beer and hamburgers and beer and everything else and beer. And so, uh, so uh, I uh, I left my job, and I, and I was uh, I was thinking about going back to Vegas uh, because I knew just I, I hated where I was at, and I wasn't happy with myself at all. And uh, what happened was I, I went down to the uh, to the rescue mission, the Great Falls Rescue Mission, and uh, I decided to stay in the weekend because I needed some time to think because I knew that I, I, was, I was ready, I was at that point where I, I was thinking about God a lot, but I just, I didn't know what to do, you know? And, and uh, so, uh, while I was there over the weekend, I talked to one of the guys that used to be there about the program there. And I thought to myself, well, this is, this is probably where I want to be. This, this is, you know, this is what I need. And, and that's exactly what happened. And I, I got to join the program and as I went through it, I, I finally, I finally uh, started uh, developing uh, the relationship with God that, that I was looking for. And I got to the point where I decided that, that it was, that I, that I was reconciled. And I understood finally being reconciled. And, and I wrote down here, uh, being reconciled means to restore harmony between persons. Which was what was happening. It was restoring the harmony between uh, between Jesus and myself. And uh, I wrote down. Uh, oh man, I forgot to write down. <laughs> but anyway, it says, for if when we were uh, when we were uh, God's enemies, 
we were reconciled to him through the death of his son. And how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved uh, through his life? And uh, I forgot to write down the verse number. But uh, some of you probably know where it is. I know Tim does. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, but the thing is, is that I went through the program and I became a, I went in the leadership training program there and, and, and I was doing really good, but what happened was, uh, I, I kind of lost my focus. I wasn't staying in the Word. wasn't uh, I got busy and I wasn't reading every day. And, and even when I was before, I was only reading one chapter. I wasn't really comprehending a lot. I, I was getting that relationship. I knew I was reconciled. But I just wasn't... Uh, again, I, I was going through the motions. I was, was developing a relationship, but I was still going through the motions. So I, I, ended up, I ended up going down a different path for about three and a half months. I went back to work and and, and I left and uh, I went back to work and I, uh, you know, I just, I, I kind of started going down the same road again. That, 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 not bad like it was before, but the thing was, was that I just, I wasn't, I wasn't happy with myself anymore uh, while I was out there. And, and I knew it was because that uh, God was leading me down a path and, and I walked away from it. Uh, I walked away from top of that path. And uh, when, I walked, when I walked out the door of the uh, rescue mission, I, you know, I said to myself, well, you know, Jesus is going with me. And, and he did. It's just that Jesus kept going straight. And I veered off one way or another. So, uh, so again, I left my job and I came back about a month and a half ago. And I can tell you now, and it, it might be hard to believe, but now, I mean, I, I have more than a relationship with God. Now I'm, I'm really learning, and I'm reading this book, uh, it's a 40-day uh, uh, devotional called uh, uh, The Purpose Driven Life. And I'm understanding now that it's more than just being saved and more than just worshiping God. I'm starting to become friends with God. And I think this is really the most important thing because God really created us not to just be on our knees and worship Him all day long, but He created us to be his family, because he was, he wanted family, and and, and to be friends with him, really, and, and this is kind of a hard concept, and the one I just over the last couple of days I really started to understand to be friends with God. I mean, you can just you need to just kind of imagine yourself just just walking down the street like you would with any one of your friends, and just talking with the Lord, and just sharing whatever you know, your hopes, your dreams. I, I had a great day, or this is going on in my life or that and, and just talking and then uh, so that's kind of where I'm at well not kind of that's where I'm at now and it's just really a really beautiful thing so and so you know I just I just I'm really <laughs> blessed that I'm actually you know that I'm able to stand up here and, and even give this testimony I was going to try and make it a little bit longer but I think you know I gave you the gist of it I think you know the most important thing about any testimony is what God is doing in your life at that time, what He has done, and, and what He is doing, and, and where you're going. You know, and I, I can tell you right now that uh, you know we start off at home and we come here and and, uh, and, and uh, we try to find our way back. So uh, I mean, you know, if something happens to me today and I leave this earth, <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The best of my family. So I, mean, you know. I want that for everybody else. So, uh, amen. Thank you. Amen. amen.